tired of being discouraged and disheartened by the culture? Does your spiritual life need some fresh air? Well, how about fresh air for your soul and an ocean breeze for the body? Join Michael Voris and Father Z of the world-renowned Catholic blog, What Does the Prayer Really Say? on a Lenten retreat at sea. This seven-day trip is the perfect opportunity for couples and singles to strengthen their faith and clear their minds. Find out more by clicking on the attached link or call 805-526-6565. Also, be sure to check out our Facebook event page where those who already signed up can introduce themselves. Hello, I'm Michael Miller. Rebecca is off today. Here are your latest headlines from churchmilitant.tv news. A campaign is underway in Europe and North America to discredit the Catholic Church. This according to the Vatican's Head of Doctrine. The Head of Congregation for the Doctrine of the Faith was recently quoted in a German newspaper as comparing the attacks leveled at the Church to the pogroms against Jews in Europe. The British Education Secretary is stating that teachers who continue to tell students that marriage should be between a man and a woman will not lose their jobs or face disciplinary actions. The statement comes just before a House of Commons vote tomorrow, which is predicted to legalize same-sex weddings in England and Wales. The New York Post is reporting that New York City schools have handed out over 12,000 Plan B morning-after pills to students without parental permission. The drug handout is part of an attempt to reduce teen pregnancy by making emergency contraceptives available without parental consent, something that 53% of New York City parents oppose. On Thursday, a German cardinal authorized the use of the morning-after pill in Catholic hospitals to prevent fertilization in instances of rape. The German bishops' conference will address the issue of using emergency contraception for rape victims at their meeting later this month. On January 17th, an Oregon man who owns his own bakery refused to bake a cake for a same-sex couple's wedding and is now facing a state investigation for doing so. The man, who is a Christian, said that if it came down to it, he'd lose his business in order to stand up for his beliefs. I'm Michael Miller. Those are your headlines from churchmilitant.tv. Make sure you check out today's Vortex, where Michael talks about rallying around the bishop. Thanks for tuning in today. Spread the word about us to your friends, and may God bless you. Sick of TV and its cultural rot? Tune in to churchmilitant.tv and become a premium subscriber, where you will get access to fresh shows with solid church doctrine. As a premium subscriber, you'll get hundreds of hours of programming, which includes investigative shows, catechesis, apologetics, church history lessons, and a lot more. What are you waiting for? Forget the bad television and dive into the riches of the Catholic faith for only $10 a month.